Welcome to another edition of the eSpot with Camille. The eSpot is your location for the latest in entertainment, beauty, and design from the people who make it. Thanks for joining. Let's go. that women feel empowered about or get that message from you today? The main thing that I want women to feel empowered about today is just to step out and do it. You know, don't let anything hold you back. Follow your dreams because if it's been placed in you, it is for you. So step out and do just that and accomplish all your goals. That is such great information. So a lot of people during this pandemic had to really pivot or find other ways of making those multiple streams of income oh, yeah. to make those six figures, right? Yeah. So what's some of the advice you would give someone who's still trying to figure it out, still hasn't quite figured out how they're going to make that next stream or even monetize it? For sure. It's okay not to have it figured out. I mean, a lot of us are still figuring out as we go, you know? So it's okay not to have it figured out. Go with what you really are passionate about and just build from there. When you're passionate about something, it shows in the work. And then when it shows in your work, all the other blessings and opportunities will open up for you. So one more quick question before you have to go. What is the main thing that you want to make sure that everyone that's watching you today would really gain from your education that you're going to be dropping? The gems you're going to be giving away. So just for those who weren't able to make it this year so they don't miss next time. They don't want advice. What would you give today? Um, the advice that I would give is to definitely just be empowered as a woman. Like we are out here, these false babes, these false women, just making our own way, making our own money. And I want them to know, just go get the bag, you know? Like, that is what it's all about. So, I, I have to ask you this, because I watched Sunset, Tampa, all those real estate shows. Are there any plans for you to possibly, because you're beautiful and smart, beauty's the price, right? So, is there any plans for you to do any other things? Because you have so much that you're doing, interior design, the um, real estate, like everything. So, is there anything you can share with us at the spot exclusive? So, no, my celebrity wedding on VH1 will be back on your screens in May for part Um, I'm 
the company. I guess you're yeah. talking about something. Oh, you're thinking about branching out on your own. You're thinking that that's the company. You were working at EPM. Now, you're all in your own. And you're all in your own. So, what advice would you give? How to hurry. Really, that's all I can say. Yeah. 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 For me, I'm going to say that for decade in America, I'm going to say that for me, it you know, I'm going to do this on my own. And that's all it took, and yeah. God's grace has worked. So I think that's I mean, we're working with some of the people. What was that stuff like? Was there ever a point in time for you that you had like a foster syndrome? You want to have a baby? You are a little bit about building a baby. You said, oh, can somebody tell me about it? I'll just try to appreciate you guys. You know, it's so interesting because when I think about the biggest part that I've ever made, I think that's never truly the thing. So with each step it's been, oh my God, I do not believe I represent X, Y, and Z. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm working with this person. And then the next step is literally just bigger. The same thing when it comes to making money. I remember when the money retainer in my company was the highest retainer in my company. So I certainly think that pretty much everyone goes through that moment of imposter syndrome. But it's really about having that confidence and thinking about the last big thing I did. That's just the beginning. Uh, I love it. What is it? The ceiling is the floor, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, um, you're doing this beautiful event. What advice or what tips are you helping people to walk up there? Some of you use the brain. That's such a good question. I really don't think about inspired. There's so many incredible women here from all walks of life who have accomplished big things. Uh, people who are still growing their careers, no matter what industry you want to go into. I just think that people should come in here really with their ears open, eyes open, and really be ready to be inspired by all these incredible women. Uh, thank you again for stopping by today. And I think you need to do a send off day. Um, that you're at the East Spot with Camille. I'm at the East Spot with Camille. Yes. Yeah, I can't help it. So anyway, um, welcome to the East Spot with Camille. I'm Camille Flowers. It's so you. nice to meet you. So tell everyone what are you hoping that people will learn from you today? Um, what I want people to take from me is that we all have insecurities, right? So I'm a celebrity hairstylist and I own a local luxury hair care brand that is specifically say the name? Sure. I'm sorry, hair by Natalie B. Okay. And it's specifically targets people that have hair insecurities. That provides them to but, uh, See, I knew I should have taken my brains out for the so I would have had you. Ah, but that's all right. We're going to stay in touch because I don't know how to ask you all the questions. So, I was like, with Paris, there's been a lot of talk, and you do tell everyone, there's been a lot of talk about the different films where different actors have come out and said they didn't have a maker, and their person that they wanted to hear, and their person that they wanted to hear. And what advice would you get for hairstylists who are interested in breaking into the industry so we don't have that issue? Because I work as a makeup artist. I work as a model, and I do the trauma in your body, I do the pandemic. Thank you for giving a little story of what they're going to 
Now she be whipping, ain't no more.